over the course of the last few years. I've been privileged to be Education Secretary. I've helped bring change, which has meant that our secondary schools and our academies and standards are rising. <coughs> And if I'm fortunate enough to be re-elected, I hope to continue to champion the causes that are dear to all of our hearts. Hello, I'm Paul Roberta Smith, uh, and I'm an artist. And I'm standing in this constituency really against Michael because I am deeply concerned about the position of arts in school. So I'm standing on a single issue. The, art, the economy of the art is worth 79 billion to this country and we are diminishing art in schools and that means that we are diminishing the ability of working class, ordinary kids in state schools access to an economy which could make them extremely wealthy and that one day they could be all academicians just like me. <laughs> so, I, uh, so I'm standing really against Michael Gove. Michael Gove is the principal architect of a lot of reforms in education which have diminished the arts in schools. And that's really why I'm here. But we're going to have a completely positive campaign. I'm not going to spend too much time uh, rubbishing Michael Gove. I'm going to try and say why the arts are really important. So, uh, so they're really important for health. You know, they're really important for the economy. And uh, to deny kids access to our education is to deny them access to that huge economy, actually. Uh, well, in the 21st century, uh, the world and the economy is changing. And Mike was absolutely right to put the stress on education. But one of the critical things, one of the things that Mike has tried to do, in fact, Kenneth Baker did in the 1980s, was try to get an idea going about computer-aided design and to try and teach kids coding. I went to a presentation in Parliament the other day by this group called the Digital Schoolhouse, and they said that actually, because they're computer specialists, and they couldn't draw. Teaching coding is like teaching coordinates, essentially. It's about plotting space, identifying where things are in space. If you, uh, if you, if you simply uh, have uh, uh, computer specialists teaching those, that subject, and uh, they, they, sort of, they, can't, they cannot uh, be, begin to identify what the, space, what, what, what the kind of space is. And that's the problem. What we need to do, what we need to do in our country is teach visuality and mathematics in the same breath. That's what we must do. And that's the challenge to people who are charged with education. To forget about C.P. Snow's idea, this old idea about the relationship between art and science being against one another, but to actually unite them in primary school and teach kids uh, a really good understanding of, uh, of computer coding and uh, and, uh, and visuality. The Prime Minister yesterday said to children in a secondary school, something, girls in a secondary school, um, it would be wonderful one day if you studied science you could be able to design a high performance car. And I think that shows all of us uh, that he didn't quite understand uh, that designing a high performance car involves a marriage of art and science. Okay.